Hey there guys, welcome back to the channel. Thanks so much for watching today. Today we are back with another Funko Pop unboxing for you. This time I have a couple packages that I got in the mail and inside of these are gonna be some pops that I have been needing to pick up for one of my favorite lines. It's from one of my favorite shows of all time and I've really been lacking with some of these pops i know they've been getting definitely really expensive because recently a reboot of the show was announced or more of like a continuation of the show has been announced coming to streaming and i'm just so pumped that we we're actually able to get some of these pops into the collection at some pretty decent deals so we actually have two packages here today one of these packages coming from smy world which we have done a couple of different mystery boxes from before and then the other one is over from our friend at Funky Bob. So they did a great job with sending these things over. And I believe that there are three figures in this and then two figures in this one. Uh, I think at least three of these should be from that one particular line that I've been needing to collect. And I am getting on top of it. I'm now almost done collecting at least as far as like the common ones go, I think I'm only missing two at this point. Now, before we get into the video, if you guys are new to the channel and you are looking for Funko Pop content, this is the place for you. Make sure you hit that subscribe button so you never miss a video. And you can also hit that bell so that way you're notified whenever we have new videos drop. And of course, if you guys can leave a like on this video, it does make a massive difference. So why don't we go ahead and start with the box that came over from Smy World. And I definitely do like Smy World. Uh, they've actually done a lot of really interesting stuff recently, not only with like their mystery box that they have done, which I think I should have, I think I actually have one coming from them soon. They've done a lot of customs and stuff that have been really cool, like Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, they just dropped a Doctor Strange one as well, so that's pretty cool. But yeah, we actually have two figures in this box, and oh yeah, it looks like they came really well shipped and in protectors. So some of you guys might have already guessed what the show actually is that I'm needing to collect. And I have it right here, it is Futurama, and here is Nibbler from Futurama. Guys, I am so happy we started to get some of these pops. I picked up Fry, who is one of my favorite characters on TV ever. I picked him up, like, I want to say almost two years ago now, maybe a year and a half ago. I got him off Macari, uh, but I was really lacking on the rest of them uh, because I didn't want to pay the prices for them because at the time they were still, like, $30, $40, $50 range. But ever since the show got announced that it's coming back on Hulu next year, they shot up in price but i've been able to find a few of them recently on some of the shops that i do like to go to and they've been at some pretty decent deals so i decided hey let's go ahead and pick them up because i know they're going to come in good condition and nibbler is a really great figure of course nibbler from the niblonians he is an awesome character in the show really important it's actually really funny how he looks like as a funko pop i love how they have his diaper on he even has his cape from the show as well and his antenna which is kind of like his third eyeball there as well his teeth coming out that looks like a fantastic pop and he's just a cute little guy but super important for the show and now the second pop we have in this box is also going to be from the same show futurama and this is one that i definitely was super excited to grab this is professor farnsworth and of course everyone loved professor farnsworth good news everyone uh, good news everyone I always say that all the time so yeah I absolutely love this pop right here and this is one that has definitely been rising a ton in value so I'm glad I was able to grab it at the price that I did it's actually in really good condition I don't really see anything wrong with it outside of like a looks like a couple smudges there on the side but yeah this pop looks fantastic yeah, Professor Farnsworth looking perfect just like he did in the show. You have him with his lab coat, even his slippers on, and he has some sort of device in his hand, maybe a doomsday device or something that he's kind of clicking that button right there. That looks great. even has his glasses, which are a little bit more of like a blue tint, look a little bit off, but this is definitely a great pop. So that was definitely an awesome, awesome mail call over from Smy World, but let's go ahead and make some room because we also have the package coming from Funky Bob. And Funky Bob actually really cool had a deal on their website and he's actually done this a few times where if you order it off his website like you get 
buy three get one free this time it was buy two get one free so we ended up getting a free funko pop from his shop so i picked up a couple other ones that i needed as well they actually had one of the other futurama ones that i needed on the website but i was a little bit too slow on it so hopefully i can find that one elsewhere but yeah these are definitely a few cool ones and there's actually a custom pop in here as well so let's go ahead and start with the futurama pop that i got and i was super happy that he had this one not in great condition honestly there is a ding on the front but i knew that going into it this is robot devil and this is just a pop you're not really gonna find in good condition because it is all the way from 2016 so i thought hey definitely go ahead and grab it now because it was at a pretty decent price and actually staying correct this pop is actually from 2015 which is crazy but yeah you can see the uh ding on the front there although it is in a protector which is always good but yeah this is a definitely a great pop robot devil is always one of those really funny characters in futurama going all the way back to the beginning of the series where we saw him pop up when you know fry and bender went and visited robot hell when they learned it was in new jersey he has his pitchfork in his left hand he even has his robot tail and everything the horns he looks absolutely great i love those those sharp teeth that robot teeth that he has looks like he might be even be singing a song as he likes to do from time to time i absolutely love this pop now when i did see that funky pop had that buy two get one free deal i really really wish i was more on top of the drop because they do a drop every monday i believe and i was a little bit late to it about like an hour late so i was able to get the robot devil but two other futurama pops that i needed for this set being Leela that we see here on the back along with Zap Brannigan. Those were the last two ones to complete my common set. He had them both on his website, but I was too late. So those three would have been perfect. But since I missed out on those two, I decided to pick up another couple pops. And one that I picked up that I actually realized I never had, but I really do like this pop. This is Spider-Man from the Spider-Man video game from PlayStation. This is just an amazing Spider-Man pop. I can't believe I never got this one. Now the actual game came out, I wanna say in 2018, I believe, uh, 2018, 2019, something like that. And that game is fantastic. The Miles Morales game that came out, I believe last year was great too. I cannot wait for Spider-Man 2 to come out. Should be coming out next year. So I'm super excited for all of that. But yeah, this pop is just has so much detail and I love the suit on this thing. Yeah, just the red and the blue, kind of that classic look of Spider-Man, but actually being a little bit more updated with that white spider logo, that looks great even on the back of him as well. I love how the hair looks, the swoosh and everything for Peter Parker, and he's even holding the Spider-Man mask in his hand. The way that they make the Spider-Man mask look, just so much detail. You kind of see the webbing on the head and everything with the eyes, but they have it kind of wrinkled up around the neckline. That looks so cool. I'm in love with this sculpt. And the last pop that we actually picked up, it's exclusive to Funky Bob. And I thought this one was pretty cool. Uh, it says Glow in the Dark, one of six pieces. There's only six of these that he made. This is the uh, custom Glow in the Dark Dracula from Universal Monsters. Now I'm surprised that Funko has not made other variants of the Universal Monsters, like maybe a Glow in the Dark or a Metallic or something like that. So I guess we had to leave it out to our custom people out there. So Funky Bop decided to do that and it does come with that little sticker that say the uh, Funky Bop exclusive limited edition does say one out of six on there. So pretty cool that they were actually able to make this. I'm going to be interested to see how the glow on this actually shakes out because it did look pretty cool in the photos. But if you have not seen this figure, this is actually the Walgreens exclusive pop that came out last year. And it is definitely a really cool looking figure. I love this Dracula, the way that he has a suit and everything. He has his hands out like he's kind of walking towards you, trying to grab you to suck your blood and everything. And then you check out the glow in the dark and it looks like really the head and everything is glowing. It doesn't look like it's quite the same kind of glow paint that Funko normally uses because it kind of does look a little bit different, but it definitely still looks great. It's a little bit interesting though that they chose Dracula to do this glow in the dark with. I would have thought maybe uh, Frankenstein might work a little bit better. So there's our look for today's Funko Pop haul. I cannot believe we got three Futurama Pops to add to the collection. We've recently got Bender a while back, and then I also have Fry from like a year and a half ago. So we are so, so close. Again, just Leela and Zap Brand again. If you guys have any of the Futurama Pops out there, I'd love to hear 
because I'm a huge fan of Futurama. Again, one of my favorite shows of all time. So if you guys love Futurama, let me know in the comments down below. But overall, what do you think about the pops that we were able to pick up today? Which of these is your favorite? And has there been any big recent Funko Pop pickups for yourself? I would love to hear about them in the comments down below. And of course, if you guys have not done so already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Also leave a like on this video. It does make a massive difference. You can always hit that bell to be notified whenever we have new videos. But thank you guys so much for watching today. And as always, we'll see you again real soon.